Blast me to Endor! It's time for the Mad Merlin's unboxing of Star Wars Legion, Odin Versio and ID10. Hello and welcome back to another Mad Merlin's unboxing. So today we're going to take a look at Iden Versio and her droid ID10. So this is a commander expansion for Star Wars Legion and the Galactic Empire. So here we have Iden at the front of the box. On the side. And on the rear we've got a few options. So we've got helmet head with her standard issue blaster. Helmeted head with her special rifle. And of course we've got another different type of rifle up here. Plus her droid. Uh, Aiden is part of the Elite Inferno squad, who I have as well for part of my Star Wars Legion project. And she allows, obviously, a good range of play and gives them a little bit more additional support. So let's cut the tabs and take a look inside. So this is one of the um, newer style models, I believe. is so we have our frame of components here a flight stand for id10 our bag of upgrades and card components two 27 mil bases and the old-fashioned um, black sheet of upgrades and rules. So, take a look at that in a minute. But first, let's go overhead and take a look at our components close. So, first off, we've got our instructions sheet here. So, learn how to build ID10. Just three components. And it goes down onto its base like so. Then we've got quite a few options on how to build Aiden. So she can come with part A4, which is a standard E11 blaster rifle. She can have the TL50 repeater rifle, or she can also have a DLT20A sniper rifle. So her body goes together quite simply, just two halves, and you've got a choice of three heads. So her bare head, uh, a tie pilot helmet with rebreather gear, or just a TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. Or should I say Special Forces Helmet. So we've got options C and D there. With her standard issue equipment. A and E, her repeater with a bare head. And then her sniper rifle there with the helmeted head. And of course we've got a few rules that are exclusive to Aiden. She's got a shield token thanks to her droid. She's got her operations token there. Uh, plenty of other rules. Steady, scatter, infiltrate, marksman. So rules that aren't obviously covered in the standard issue rules. And finally we have our full list of components. So we get Iden Versio miniature with base, ID10 seeker droid with base. Two order tokens, three wound tokens, one suppression token, one dodge token, one aim token, one shield token, and one operative marker token. Plus we get Iden and ID10's unit cards. We also get four command cards, pulse scan, concussive blast, tactical strike, and incapacitate. Then nine upgrades, so the repeater, the, I the DLT's 20 sniper rifle, the Offensive Push, Hunter, Overwatch, Recon Intel, Grappling Hooks, Comms Relay, and Comms Jammer. So here we have Aiden and ID10. So of course, as I mentioned, Aiden is the leader of Inferno Squad. And as we can see here, she has a beautiful plastic miniature. So we have all the different weapon options here, the repeater, the sniper, and the standard issue. We've got the two different helmet face plates there, and the one of the actual main head plates. So you can't build up both, but you can easily build the bare head and leave the 
Helmeted head as a separate piece, we even attach it to her hip. So we've got other side here of all the lovely detail. And there she is. So I think I'll be probably building the bare head option, I'm not too sure yet. I've got the rest of Inferno squad to build as well at the same time. But it'd be quite nice to see what I do with her. So finally we got our card components. So much like with my cat in Andor, she has the ability to either be your commander or be a operative. She gets a shield thanks to her droid. And we got the usual selection of tokens for a character. Right, so pulse scan, which is one of the ways Aiden was able to um, dominate the battlefield. Her droid giving a scan that fed back to her helmet. One of the um, fun things to do in game. So she gains Sharpshooter 2 and the name token. At the end of her activation, she gains one dodge and a standby token as well. So that's her one pip card. So she's got Concussive Blast, which allows her droid to overload systems. So Iden Versio activates. She recovers automatically. During Iden's activation, she gains the following weapon. So Blast, Scatter, Suppressive. Five red dice, range one to two. Tactical Strike, so Aiden and three troopers. So when Aiden or a friendly commander unit that has a face-up token activates, it may reduce its maximum speed by one if it does gain steady and tactical one. And we've got an additional two pip card for Aiden's ID-10 Seeker Droid. We've got Incapacitate. So during Aiden's activation, you may choose one enemy trooper unit at range one and in line of sight of ID-10 Seeker Droid. That unit gains three suppression tokens. Then, if it is a corpse unit that has not activated this round, assign it a face down order token from the order pool or flip its order token face down. And then we've got our unit card. So, Aiden herself, 100 points for a commander, so that's not too bad. But she's got quite a lot of good skills. So, she's got two veteran abilities, a gear, and a blaster option. Six health, free courage, red. Dice for defense. And then quite a nice lot of rules there. So she's the leader of Inferno Squad. And then we have our ID 10 unit. So counterpart to Iden Versio. When building your army, this mini can be added only to an Iden Versio unit. So it gives you a free bonus little unit to take. So when you recover, flip one inactive shield token. Shielded, you have one shield token and small while defending the and determining line of sight, you ignore this mini. There we go. Now onto Aiden's upgrades. So she's got her DLT 20A sniper. So range one to infinite, two black dice, high velocity, all, as for all sniper rifles and piercing we have her TL50 repeater so range 1 to 3 2 reds, 2 whites and a black critical 1 and impact 1 defensive push hunter overwatch grappling hooks and recon intel, one of my personal favourites comms jammer and comms relay so Good selection of upgrades, not just for Aiden, but for various other units as well. So I'll bring everything back in and I will give you my final thoughts. So there we have the unboxing for Aiden Versio and her ID-10 Scout Droid. So one of my favourite characters and of course the main character from the Battlefront 2 campaign mode. She's a rather good character. And 
a rather good model. I do like that it's the new style plastic, so it's a little bit better scaling and also a lot better quality, a lot more in-depth detail. So we can look forward to a rather good unit there, I think. Like I said, I'm probably going to build her bareheaded, I'm not too sure yet. But either way, I think the Inferno Squad plus Aiden will make a rather good addition to my Empire collection. So RRP Aiden is $19.99. Kirtle Games has her for $17.99. But I picked mine up in my May 4th bundle from Kirtle Games. So be sure to check Kirtle Games again. That's the third time in a row I've said Kirtle Games. Oh, four now. But really, Kirtle Games is one of the best places in Mid-Devon for your Warhammer and hobby needs. So... There are, of course, my affiliate links and my social media links and buy me a coffee page in the description down below for anyone willing, wishing to help donate towards the channel. And I would like to thank you, of course, for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. And then I will see you next time for some more mad content. Goodbye.